so the tortillas are heated and cooked. They look like this gold and brown, or gold and yellow, and it's all nice and warm. So we got that, and next thing we're doing is our tempeh. So I'll put that back on there to keep it warm. This is our three grain tempeh. We'll cut it open. This is super cheap and super easy to make. You can do tempeh, you can eat it right out of the package too. If you like it like that, but I like mine heated. So we got tempeh. Kinda hard to open, but get a sharp knife. Pull it out. They put another clear coating plastic wrapper on it. Alright! <laughs> so there's another thing of plastic, apparently. Alright, so cut that plastic open. Alright, so this is what tempeh pretty much looks like. It's just a big block of like soybeans, there's like millet, there's rice in there, it's just like a bunch of grains mixed together. So we got that. And you'll need a big Ziploc baggie or I guess whatever size you can use. Alright, so open that up. And then what we're going to do is, you can pretty much, this is pretty much the easiest way to do it. Uh, we want to crumble the tempeh into not super small pieces, but like little lumps. I would say something maybe like that big, something like that, maybe a little bigger. Just depends. So we're going to crumble this stuff up. It'll also break up in the pan too. So even if they're too big as crumbles, it'll still break up a little on the pan. Because there's always a little little tempeh scraps. Alright, so half of it's crumbled. The dark spots on the tempeh, it's just a natural culturing process. So it doesn't mean it's rotten or anything, so it's still good. And like I said, lots of, lots of protein. This one has 20 grams of protein, 9 grams of fiber, 240 calories for half the package, so there's about 500 calories in this entire thing, and your entire worth, your entire day's worth, if not more, of protein and pretty much of fiber. And people think meat is better. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we crumbled that up. So we got our crumbled piece of tempeh right here. Next thing we're going to do is take whatever oil you want. We still have the, what is this? Yeah, vegetable oil. I'd say probably like another tablespoon of that. You just want to like coat it on the tempeh so the seasoning sticks to it. Um, so it just doesn't have to be precise. Do that. So you just want to cook the tempeh, like that, pick it up, pick it up. You could also, if you don't have any Ziploc bags, you can also just do this in the pan, and it's like the same thing. It's just less of a mess, and it coats the tempeh better. Okay, next thing we have is our taco seasoning. Very good. Alright, so we'll just dump a bunch of that stuff in. Dump little by little. Put this back up. Put it on. I'm gonna cut all the tempeh pieces. Looking pretty good. Alright, awesome. Cool, so that's all done. Now we already put oil on the pan, just like another tablespoon of oil so it doesn't stick to the pan. And we'll put that, uh, I would start off maybe right at medium, maybe a little more, just to heat it up pretty quick. Um, let's say medium. Okay, and then I'm going to dump this in the pan. cook pretty much until it browns and all the spices and everything, you'll start to smell it cook. Um, I would probably say 5-10 minutes, um, more probably on the 10 minute side. And then, that's our final thing, so the next thing we'll do is put our tempeh tacos together.